Good morning. It's a, it is Saturday, the third of uh, October, twenty twenty. Interesting. Uh, I don't know. It, we had a really interesting evening. <laughs> interesting night. I'll tell you something. There is uh, there are so many uh, crazy things that happen when you run a YouTube channel, especially when you get into a lot of people talking and shouting over each other and all that. But uh, you know, so you, just like you know, you think, oh, everything's nice and and cozy and copacetic, and then something just boom it blows up <laughs> um anyway that that certain somebody we don't talk about and i'm still not going to talk about mention her name you know but uh you know i've i've you know done many videos on her over the years and i'll be honest with you almost everything i've, I've said about her has been positive I've always enjoyed her channel when she was on the road. I enjoyed that. You know, the fact that she's not really much on the road these days. Yeah, there isn't too much to watch over there. But uh, I've always enjoyed the channel. I've made I've made some comments, some criticism. You've made some comments and criticisms. And, and you know, she's, she basically said, F you, I'm out of here. This was back in the spring when she had a dispute uh, at, with a uh, somebody cleaning her cart at the Walmart, you know, and she didn't like think they were doing a good job, and then she got mad at the commenters, and she's turned off her comments, and her comments have been off ever since. However, she said she was getting off, of, she kind of hinted strongly she was getting off of YouTube, and then she didn't. She's back. She posts videos, you know, a couple times a week, but the comments are always turned off, you know. Anyway, so what happens is she goes up, to she's in Phoenix area. She goes up to the Flagstaff area where last weekend Pandemonium Aja was having her uh, birthday party and a couple other parties. There were so, several parties going on, and a whole bunch of the what we call the tribe were gathering there. You know, Destination Open Road, Scott and Terry, Wandering Jimmy, uh, Dave's RV Life, uh, Randy the Mobile Traveler, uh, Nomadic Fanatic, Eric. Uh, and and quite a few others, you know, I don't know the uh, total count of the people there, but you know 30 40 people maybe more I don't know it's hard to tell they were sitting you know sitting around closely spaced in lawn chairs at a fire pit They're dancing they're holding hands they're 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 you know got their arms around each other They're you know playing the rave music uh, You know, you know they're, I did not notice any significant number of them wearing masks, and of course they were not social distancing. You know, now we are in a pandemic, okay? What did it, it started up around February or March. We're now in October. It's been more than half a year. You know, I know that a number of my commenters, a number of the people on my channel, do not believe that this virus is anything to terribly worry about. They think it's just another version of the flu. And like every version of the flu, some people, you know, particularly older folks, a small minority of people that have, you know, underlying health conditions will, uh, you know, get severe a severe case of it. Some may need to be hospitalized and some may not make it through. Uh, but if you if you believe virtually all the media, you know, the newspapers, the websites, the TV networks, the CDC, uh, sometimes what the president says, sometimes not what Mr. Biden says, what, whatever you want to whoever you want to believe, the general consensus is this is worse than the typical flu. OK, the typical flu usually dies down in the summer and comes back in the winter. This thing was pretty all over the place all summer. OK, anyway, you know, so, you, you know, uh, you know, you can argue and argue and argue. But what the what the so-called experts are saying is wear a mask and socially distance, stay six feet apart when you're out in public, okay? And mainly, like at least here in North Carolina, it's pretty much now the thing to do when you go into a store, go inside any building, you know, whether it's a city hall or, or an office building or any kind of a store, retail store, you just put your mask on, you wear a mask, okay? And if you see other people coming down the hall, <clears throat> you, you kind of make a wide berth. I mean, that's generally, you're in the store, other people in the aisle, you kind of give them a lot of space, okay? And that's, that's what you do. You wash your hands when you come home. You maybe jump in the shower an extra time or two. Keep your clothes clean. And you just maintain common sense, okay? There are people out there who, who really feel like this is a violation of their civil rights, you know? Ah! 
You know, there are people out there that believe that, and uh, I, I don't know. You know, uh, wearing your seatbelt. I mean, there's a law. There is a law. They will give you a ticket if you do not wear a seatbelt and you're pulled over by a cop. You know, I mean, there are laws out there for common good and public safety. And it doesn't seem to me that wearing a mask and being socially distant uh, during this, this trying time right now is, uh, you know, really any kind of violation of your civil rights or anything. It's just a common sense thing to do to keep us safe. Now, again, with this virus, you know, what we generally know about the virus is that most younger people that get it tend to, tend to you know, not have severe symptoms and usually get over it within a couple of weeks, okay? Uh, the problem is that if you're older, if you're, say, over 60, if you've got underlying health conditions, you know, even if you're younger, uh, you can have the case, you know, this virus can be very nasty and sometimes people don't make it. Uh, you know, and, and, you know, even if it isn't for your own health or even for your immediate family's health because they're young or whatever, you know, you, you come in contact with older folks all the time. You have parents, grandparents, uh, you know, uh, friends who are over 60, over 50, whatever, uh, in nursing homes, whatever. Uh, is it worth it just to oh, wear a mask and be so, you know, just do the responsible thing? Uh, our president has it. His wife has it. A number of people in the, the Senate have it. A number of people on his staff have it. You know, I mean, you know, other, other leaders around. This, this has not affected the United States only. Other leaders, Boris Johnson, the head of uh, you know, the United Kingdom, had a very nasty case of this. On YouTube, we've had a number of people. Camp Goer One's had it. Uh, bald and bankrupt. We've had a number of people. Glenda Sully. Uh, they've all recovered, thankfully, but they can all, almost all of them say it was really horrible. Bald and bankrupt was in the ICU in Serbia. The guy, what's his name? Uh, I forget his name. Um, ben, I think his name is. He was in the ICU in Serbia for a couple weeks. He, he says he almost didn't make it, and he looks to be a fairly healthy youngish man. So, you know, here we have the tribe up there in the Flagstaff area at Oja's place, at her land. And if this was any other year, hey, go at it, have fun. But they put videos up, including the woman we don't mention, pictures and videos up of everybody not wearing masks and not socially distancing, okay? I said many times, repeatedly, that I was concerned about everybody's behavior and that I thought that, uh, you know, that... I really hope that the folks there are all right. I said that many times. There are a number of people there that are, you know, middle age, upper middle age. There are a number of there, people there that are, you know, putting on the pounds that they, they said that's a, a, a negative factor for the virus, that people that are overweight can, um, can have uh, more symptoms of this. You know, that is one of the underlying health conditions. Uh, you know, there were people up there, you know, I don't know, you know, there were, there were people that were, nobody, almost nobody was wearing a mask and there were definitely people that were not socially distancing. You know, I don't want to be a curmudgeon and say we can't have fun. I don't want to say we can't go out camping and, and go out to restaurants and eat. I think we should. I think maybe getting out in nature and away from other people is a good thing in a, in a, a lot of places. but. You know, we have to maintain, you know, some sense of uh, sanity in this uh, pandemic age. And my criticism of what was going on there, you know, in, in uh, at the tribe's uh, little uh, gathering there was people were not taking proper care. And I, I honestly said, I hope nobody gets the V. Even some of the folks that were in the tribe that I don't particularly like, I do not wish bad on anybody, okay? Lola is coming up in uh, two and a half, three weeks. A bunch of people are gonna be gathering down there in Dallas, Texas, in the Dallas, Texas area. Uh, you know, there are plans to do that. Uh, I hope everybody down there is wears a mask and stays socially distant. There are some older folks going to that gathering, you know, so uh, that's all I'm saying. You know, if you want to make a big fuss about it and my civil rights and whatever, okay, you know, that's cool. But, you know, I, I thought I had a pretty strong message about socially distancing, wearing masks for you nomads, you know, hey, 
you know, we're not done with this V. Everybody says we're going to get another wave of it. If you look at the Spanish flu of 1918, there were multiple waves of that that came through this country and around the world for three years. Three years. And a lot of the people that are experts today say this virus is not going away anytime soon, but we will have ups and downs and this can happen for maybe well into 2021. So everybody out there, okay, be safe. Do the, you know, think of your fellow man, wear your mask, socially distance yourself. Uh, if you're, you know, it doesn't mean you can't go out camping and it doesn't mean you can't hang out with other folks in places like Williams, Arizona. But, you know, think a little bit, you know, I, I just hope, you know, it takes a couple weeks for you to get the virus. And I hope we're not going to get some people now that we're at Williams that are going to get fevers and start feeling bad and really worry about whether they've got something nasty. Okay. It's a weird time. This has been a weird year. It's strange. We have our president, Mr. Trump, in the hospital right now battling this virus. And uh, I honestly, you know, whether you agree or disagree with Mr. Trump, we all hope he pulls through this and gets well. All right. So anyway, it, it can affect you. It can affect everybody. So, let you know, whatever. So that's all I just wanted to say, uh, you know. But I see this over and over again when I'm watching these nomadic channels. People are just, they're at campgrounds, they're jammed together. Uh, you know, they're, they're just pretending, you know, they're, 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 they're showing themselves in restaurants where everyone's sitting, uh, you know, shoulder to shoulder and nobody's wearing, you obviously can't wear a mask while you're eating, but I don't know, man. I just, you know, I worry, I worry and I wonder that I hope that everybody's okay. But uh, it doesn't look like a lot of people uh, are, you know, there are a lot of people in this nomadic community that just seem to be disbelievers. You know, some of them just really get bothered by having to wear a mask. They're just angry about it. And you see them. Uh, I don't know, man. You know, there's an awful lot of anger out there in the YouTube world. It's just people are real. And maybe it's not just the YouTube world, but it's maybe this whole country. Maybe it's the world. People are just angry. Maybe it's being cooped up so much over the summer and spring. I don't know. People are just really angry right now. And uh, I don't know. We need to kick back, take a breath, relax. We'll get through this. But, uh, you know, wearing a mask and socially distancing is not a terribly high price to pay for a little extra safety. That's all I'm saying. All right. Believe it or not. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching Vlog Under.